you might shudder at the sight of a snake slithering on the ground. But for many, these creatures are more than just a source of fear. They are billion-dollar assets. Across the world, particularly in China, Thailand, and Vietnam, millions of snakes are being farmed systematically, fueling industries ranging from food and medicine to luxury fashion. But behind the staggering profits lies a world of secrets, controversies, and unimaginable challenges. What do you think about snake farming? Is it an economic opportunity or an industry that needs stricter regulation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss any fascinating content from Farm Marvels. In Zhejiang Province, China, massive snake farms are expanding at an unprecedented rate, transforming entire villages into hubs for one of the world's most lucrative yet mysterious industries. Over three million snakes are raised here every year, ranging from deadly cobras to harmless rat snakes. With global demand soaring, the snake industry is projected to reach $15.5 billion by 2025, making it one of the most valuable sectors in modern agriculture. But the truth about how these snakes are bred, processed, and exported remains largely unknown. To sustain a thriving snake farm, the environment must be meticulously controlled, down to the precise humidity, lighting, and temperature. Snakes are housed in semi-dark enclosures that mimic their natural habitats, maintaining temperatures between 27 to 32 degrees Celsius, 80 to 89 degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity levels of 60 to 80 percent to keep them stress-free. Venomous snakes like cobras are housed in high-walled cement enclosures to prevent escape, while non-venomous species are kept in tiered cage systems for efficient space management. But nutrition is the key factor determining the growth rate and venom production of farmed snakes. Cobras are fed frogs, birds, and mice to enhance their venom output, while non-venomous snakes thrive on fish and poultry for rapid growth. Each adult snake consumes about five to ten dollars worth of food per month making large-scale snake farming an expensive venture. Any miscalculation in feeding can turn these reptiles aggressive, posing a serious threat to farmers. Yet, the profits make it all worthwhile. Snake meat, particularly in China and Southeast Asia, is a delicacy fetching between $30 to $50 per kilogram in high-end restaurants serving snake soup, grilled snake, and herbal-infused snake stews. Beyond the dinner table, snake venom is one of the most sought-after substances in pharmaceutical research, used in painkillers, anti-inflammatory drugs, and even cancer treatments. With just a few drops of venom, scientists can produce life-saving anti-venom, preventing thousands of fatalities each year. Modern technology is revolutionizing the way we utilize snakes, 
In cutting-edge laboratories, artificial intelligence, AI, is being employed to analyze snake venom, making anti-venom production faster and more affordable. Meanwhile, in the fashion industry, advanced cold drying techniques are used to preserve snake skins, elevating their value to over $500 per kilogram. Python skin handbags and accessories are now luxury symbols, highly coveted in markets across the United States, Japan, and Europe, where the demand for snake leather continues to rise. But not everyone supports this industry. Animal rights organizations have long criticized the ethics of breeding and slaughtering millions of snakes annually. Poorly managed farms have led to escaped snakes infiltrating local communities, triggering widespread fear. Additionally, Concerns over zoonotic diseases raise alarms about whether large-scale snake farming could pose health risks similar to past outbreaks linked to wildlife trade. Despite these controversies, the industry keeps expanding. In the United States, snake farming is primarily used for scientific research and the exotic pet trade. While Vietnam and Thailand are shifting towards sustainable snake farming to meet international regulations, Europe imports 35% of its snake leather from China, with top luxury brands relying on high-quality skins for their most exclusive products. So, what does the future hold for snake farming? Advancements in technology may push the industry forward, but regulatory constraints and ethical debates are growing louder. Some governments are tightening restrictions, while consumer demand for snake-based products remains stronger than ever. The battle between profit and ethics is far from over, and the final verdict will ultimately depend on global demand and shifting regulations. What do you think about this extraordinary industry? Is it an economic gold mine or a dangerous trade? A sustainable business or an ethical dilemma? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you believe snake farming is a bold and profitable venture, comment number one. If you think it's a risky and controversial industry, comment number two. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Farm Marvels for more unique and fascinating agricultural stories.